He says, praise him sun and moon and praise him all you shining stars. That's not just a poetic idea. That's really happening because stars don't just shine. Stars also sing. This one is called the Vela Pulsar, and it's magnificent. It's a highly magnetized neutron star. And as it is oscillating, you can see what's happening. It's shooting a radio frequency out of itself. When they aimed the radio telescopes at the Vela Pulsar, this is what they heard. And this is what this guy does 24-7, day and night, 365 days a year. The Vela Pulsar sounds like right now, this is it. Listen to this. Now, I, I don't know about you, but I, that blew me away. I'm thinking, wow, this is incredible.
The stars are singing to him. I recently stumbled on 47 Tuck. It's a, a beautiful uh, cluster of stars. We'll show you the picture of it here. There are 12 of these super giant blue stars in there. But the things that are of interest to us tonight are these millisecond pulsars. And right now tonight, while we're sitting in this room, the 16 recorded millisecond pulsars in 47 Tuck are making this sound right now. beautiful who knew you know God has his own string section <laughs> he's isn't that beautiful and we just looked at one 11 times a second pulsar and 16 millisecond pulsars and you start seeing Psalm 48 come to life the first time I saw sonoluminescence was in a darkened room. I was transfixed to look at this uh, spherical flask of fluid. And you'd look into the center, and in the center see a, uh, a glowing blue-purple light, uh, which could be seen with the unaided eye. looked like a star in the heavens. This star in a jar is made when a sound wave is passed through a small bubble inside a flask of liquid. And this sound wave makes the bubble do something remarkable. First it expands, then it collapses. And this collapse happens so violently that vapor molecules trapped inside the bubble slam together and heat up so much that the bubble gives off an incredible burst of heat and light several thousand times a second giving the appearance of a star by a temperature of minus 20 degrees Celsius and photograph them under a microscope. Beautiful structured ice crystals appeared and they even appeared to be all different depending from which water they were taken. But the most revolutionary discovery was done as water was exposed to music. Water exposed to music showed beautiful crystals.
start seeing Psalm 48 come to life. But look down at verse 7. It says, Praise the Lord from the earth, you great sea creatures in all deeps. The, the whale songs could sound like this right here. Take a listen. We don't know the expanse of the worship that is continually surrounding the throne of God. What I'm going to do is I'm going to levitate some water. And we'll begin with simply the concentric patterns in the water as the frequency begins. Every once in a while, we'll reach a key threshold resonance, such as that moment right there. And in that key threshold resonance, the entire pattern morphed into a more complex expression of itself, simply because the frequency changed. Now watch what happens. The frequency is still increasing. And watch what happens. As we reach a, another key threshold resonance, this entire pattern will morph into a beautifully uh, and more complex pattern of itself. Again, and again. And look at this pattern right here. Look what you're seeing right here. Look at the beautiful geometry. Here is a perfect cube. There's a perfect tetrahedron, a star tetrahedron. In two dimensions, we've got the octahedron very powerful images of sacred geometry held in place simply because we've achieved the vibratory pattern that allows that in this water droplet. banking on our songs because he is surrounded by a symphony that's bigger than our wildest dreams tonight. Stars sing and whales sing and the birds fly and I just tried to imagine what would it sound like if you could just for a second be God and hear what he hears. And I can't get us there tonight but I, I came close. I had a friend who helped me with this little iPad program and, and, and I'm not a DJ but I, I just a, a little thing just quickly and I, I want you to see how this works. Now, this guy we didn't look at his picture. He's PSR B0329-54. And he's only rotating one and a half times per second, which is not all that much, but we need him in our little experiment we're going to do here, okay? Um, and then we had the Vela Pulsar. You remember the Vela Pulsar, right? So that's that guy. That's a little too fast for what we're trying to do, so we're going to slow that down, okay? So we're going to put the, uh, the millisecond guys in there. The ones you just heard, here they come. undoctored and unedited. Here they come. So we just got two pulses. 
Sarge, and then 16 others and some whales, and we got something going. But I was asking what you're asking because some people, some people need it really clear. Like, what are they singing? And we tried this, and you just got to know this is unedited. We just dropped this on, and this is what happened. This is what they might be singing. 